Launched in 1977, Voyager 2 has now traveled more than 12 billion miles from Earth. It has crossed the boundary of the Sun, its protective bubble, the heliosphere, and entered interstellar space. For the first time, we have direct data from beyond this frontier. NASA calls it a new chapter in space science. Voyager 2 was originally sent to explore the outer planets, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. After completing that mission, its journey continued toward a far more distant goal, the edge of the solar system. In November 2018, Voyager 2 crossed the heliopause. This is the region where the solar wind slows down and the sun's influence begins to fade. Instruments on board gave clear signals. The spacecraft had left the heliosphere and entered interstellar medium. The plasma science experiment showed that the plasma outside is denser and slightly cooler than expected, surprising scientists. The cosmic ray detectors recorded a sharp increase in galactic particles, while solar orogen particles dropped dramatically. The magnetometer revealed changes in both the direction and strength of magnetic fields. Interestingly, Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 measured different conditions, showing that the heliopause is not a simple, fixed boundary, but a shifting and dynamic frontier. This transition is not like crossing a wall. It's more like passing through a flexible membrane that expands and contracts depending on solar activity and the forces of the galaxy around us. Voyager 2's data revealed that interstellar space is far from empty. It contains plasma, magnetic fields, and cosmic rays, all interacting in ways we are only beginning to understand. These findings are forcing scientists to rethink models of how the Sun and galaxy interact. NASA says the data will guide future missions, like the Interstellar Mapping and Acceleration Probe, or IMAP, which will map the heliosphere in greater detail in the coming years. Although Voyager 2 is running low on power and instruments are gradually being shut down, several are still operating. Each new transmission offers rare insights, reminding us that even technology from the 1970s can deliver discoveries that reshape our understanding of the universe. Voyager 2's crossing of the heliopause was not just a milestone. It was the beginning of a new chapter. For the first time, humanity had two spacecraft, Voyager 1 and Voyager 2, sending back data from interstellar space. The twin probes revealed that the space between the stars is not silent or empty, but alive with invisible forces. Interstellar plasma is more dense than scientists once believed, creating pressure against the bubble of the heliosphere. This balance between the outward flow of the solar wind and the inward push of interstellar particles shapes the very boundary that Voyager 2 crossed. One of the most fascinating findings was that the heliosphere appears asymmetric. Voyager 1 crossed into interstellar space in 2012, Voyager 2 in 2018, yet their measurements differed. The thickness of the boundary, the strength of the magnetic field, even the density of particles, all were unique. This suggests that the Sun's protective shield is not uniform but shaped by shifting galactic conditions. Voyager 2 also confirmed that cosmic rays, high-energy particles from distant stars and galaxies, constantly bombard our solar system. Inside the heliosphere, the solar wind deflects and weakens many of them. Outside, their intensity rises dramatically. These measurements are critical because cosmic rays affect both spacecraft electronics and the potential safety of future human explorers venturing beyond Earth's neighborhood. The data also gave clues about the size of the heliosphere itself. Some scientists now believe it acts like a shield, protecting life on Earth from the harshest radiation of interstellar space. Without it, the conditions for life might have been very different on our planet. Yet mysteries remain. What lies further ahead? Voyager 2 is now moving deeper into interstellar medium, a region where the influence of the Sun is weaker and galactic forces dominate. The spacecraft will keep sending back signals as long as its power source, a small nuclear generator, continues to run. By the end of this decade, most instruments will likely fall silent. But until then, every bit of data is priceless. NASA's future missions like the interstellar probe concept aim to go even farther and faster, to map the boundary in detail and answer questions Voyager could only glimpse. But Voyager 2's journey stands as proof, with technology built nearly half a century ago. We can still expand the edge of human knowledge.